Hello everyone, the Bard Ken here. Today's topic are the Japanese creatures known as Tengu. Tengu were once these strange bird-like creatures that have crow features and they have a bird's beak. The Tengu has changed since their original design, which were taken from Chinese folklore and changed over to Japanese. And instead of being birds, now they are typically portrayed as men with very large noses. And if you've ever seen those strange red masks that you see in Japanese festivals with the massively long noses, that is known as a Tengu mask. Similar to the way that their appearance has changed, their general purpose as spirit creatures have also changed. Originally, the Tengu were mischievous, evil creatures that were anti-Buddhist in nature, which was the predominant religion at the time. But in their transitional phase, they were portrayed as mischievous and merely problem causers. But now they are benevolent creatures that assist in Buddhism and fight corruption. Along with their strange mask and elongated noses, they are often portrayed as Yamabushi, which are known as mountain monks. The literal translation of the word Yamabushi would be Yama, which is the Japanese word for mountain, and Bushi, which is the Japanese word for warrior. Along with being portrayed as mountain warriors, the Tengu were also integrated into legends regarding the ninja. Some stories even say that the Tengu trained the ninja, because Tengus are highly trained in swordplay, illusions, and magic. The Tengu also had powers for transformation, very similar to the Kitsune, or fox spirits, or the Tanuki, which are known as raccoon dogs. The way to tell that a Tengu spirit was a false illusion instead of an actual human being was very similar to the way to tell from a Kitsune. Kitsune, when they transform, leave a shadow that looks like a fox, and you can tell by the shadow's long nose. For the Tengu, instead, is that if you were to attack one in the middle of combat, because Tengu typically took on the form of warriors, if you defeated them, they would transform back into the Black Crow that it was originally. Now, that's different from the Tanuki, whereas the Tanuki, which are raccoon dogs, can only transform using a special type of leaf. That's all I have for you today about the Tengu. I'll leave more links in the description below for you to do some more research on your own if you're not satisfied with the description I've already given. Be sure to leave a like and a subscribe if you haven't already. I'm the Bard Ken. Thanks for watching. Have a nice day.